Good morning. This morning we'll be doing a demonstration on ProTech Wheel Balancer 1120 and we'll be showing you uh, how to calibrate the machine, also how to perform uh, balancing of the wheels. The machine comes with four sets of cones, four different sizes, truck adapter, as well as a flange for the truck adapter, manual width gauge, quick nut, and two different adapters for the quick nut. It also comes with a weight hammer, calibration weight, as well as instructions for installation, assembly of the machine, and the parts list, and instruction manual on how to perform the calibration in case you forget. Power on the machine. When you get the machine, you can set it up as we did here, or you can put it a little bit lower. It's adjustable depending on how you feel comfortable. You got aluminum one, aluminum two, aluminum S, inches and uh, millimeters. These buttons will explain when we're doing the calibration and uh, settings. This is the distance adjuster. If you need to manually adjust the distance of the vehicle, of the rim from the flange, uh, the width of the tire and the diameter. The fine button used for uh, calibration as well, optimize and aluminum. This is to select the different settings for the aluminum. Start button, stop button. You only use the start button if the hood switch is off. For the settings, the only settings here are the, to change the unit of weight from grams to ounces. So to do that, you hold stop, A plus, and change the unit, you hit B plus, for, now it's in grams, change it to ounces, hit B plus again to save it, press A plus. And you'll find that on page 18 of the manual. This one, calibration of the machine, of the ruler, you'll find these settings on page 10 and page 11 of the manual for self-calibration and ruler cal calibration. So to do that, you're gonna hold stop and find. Then you're gonna bring the ruler to zero. Press aluminum button again to save it. Pull the ruler to 15. Aluminum to save it. And you have to wait until you see all the zeros on the screen before, before you let the ruler go. Now we're gonna do the diameter. To install the tire, the way we have it set up is you put the cone in first. Install the tire. And you use the cup on the quick nut. So once you've installed the tire, to set the diameter, calibrate the diameter, you hold the stop and press the optimize button. Then you can adjust the diameter with these plus, D plus, and D minus. Once you've adjusted the diameter, you confirm, then you pull the ruler, touch the edge of the rim, and confirm. You have to wait till you see all zeros on the screen and then put the ruler back. For the self-calibration, we're gonna tell the machine A, B, and D, uh, the distance, width, and diameter. Distance, width, diameter. So when you pull the ruler, it'll give you the distance and the diameter manually. You have to, automatically, you have to put the, the width manually. And then you hold C and D and spin the tire. Once the machine stops, it's gonna ask for a 3.5 or 100 gram weight. And you can, as you can see, all the lights are flashing, so you can put it anywhere, or anywhere on the outside of the tire. Then close the hood. And you 
have to wait until the machine stops and then open the hood again and it'll say end cal and it's saved to confirm that our uh, wheel calibration is good we're going to balance the same tire we had on there and we already know the distance and diameter and the width of the vehicle of the tire again to do that we just pull the ruler and that'll give us the distance and the diameter automatically we just have to manually input the width of the wheel so when you don't see any lights on here that tells you it's uh you're on dynamic mode we're gonna go ahead and spin the wheel once we've entered all the diameters all the dimensions Now it's asking for weight one, one ounce and one ounce on each side. So we'll prepare the one ounce weight. We'll make sure all the lights are on. We're gonna put this weight, the brake, so the wheel doesn't spin on us. And this weight's gonna go on at 12 o'clock. Spin the tire. All the lights on again. Then one ounce on the inside at 12 o'clock. Now we're gonna spin the tire. And the wheel is balanced, zero, zero on the screen. Now we're gonna show you how to do the different aluminums. So to start, you press this, aluminum one, there's a clip on the oh, stick on weight on the inside and on the outside of the rim. Aluminum two, you put a clip on weight on the aluminum and a stick on, on the inside, outside. And then hit it again, you get aluminum S as a special mode and we'll show you that today. So we're gonna put the tire on. Aluminum S mode, you don't need to tell the machine the distance, the width, and the diameter. You just pull the ruler to where you want to stick the weight to. When you hear the beep, go to the next position. And then spin the wheel. Now it's saying 1.5 and 0.5. And you're gonna put this at 12 o'clock, clean where the area the weights to go on. Let me stick the weight at 12 o'clock. And the other side, all the lights on, clean. And grab the weight, stick it on the inside, and close the hood. And that's it.